That green room was nice. They even had my favorite caviar. Oh, and those little bottles of Coke. You can only find those south of the border. And those organic, gluten-free, ethically raised oranges. They were delicious. And my healthy cookies. It's like he knows us a little bit too well. Man, this is getting creepy. Speaking of that, why are we in an empty theater and where did our friend go with the little feet anyways? Did he even mention his name? What kind of guy sends you money and doesn't even introduce himself? I'm not a charity. Hey, aside from the creepiness, what do you guys think about this whole idea? I mean, it's not bad. The crowd gets to choose what deals get funded and will also have access to early stage companies. Kind of wish I'd thought about that years ago. I'd be rich. You are rich, Winston. We all are. He meant richer, Cubes. Right, Nebraska? Sure. <laughs> yeah, richer. That's what I meant. But I have given most of it to Bill anyway. This idea has legs, though. Just look. Now I can sit here and scroll through Susie's app and make way more friends. You know, I am quite popular on here. The ladies seem to laugh at all my jokes. It's your money, Winston. Not your personality. Why are you always so grumpy, Mitch? I mean, we don't really have to do anything. Just sit, listen, provide comments and advice for budding entrepreneurs. Like Kelly on that singing show. Oh, you're my favorite. I wish I could sing like you. Come and get a jacket, blah, blah, blah. Ophelia nailed it. Easiest money I've ever made. And this chair? <laughs> What's not to love? That's all good. But that mystery man had the nerve to say normal people at home can select deals better than me? I'm irreplaceable. Does he really think people would rather participate in choosing the winners and make money rather than listen to me drop little nuggets of wisdom all night? My show is being called Critically Acclaimed. I'd rather buy some of your imaginary dog money than watch you talk. Critically Acclaimed is what they say when no one watches it. <laughs> uh, I heard that, and everyone needs some doge in their life, Susie. Anyway, it's like we're giving back sharing what we've learned and providing advice for new founders. You'll die one day, Mitch, and you can't take that money with you. Oh, he'll figure out a way. And seriously, just because other people get a chance to make money doesn't mean you have to get less cubers. That's exactly what it means. Have you even heard of scarcity? These people are supposed to wait until the IPO when I sell my shares back to them at much higher prices than I pay. You know what, Mitch? That attitude is why Virtual VC is going to be a hit. This is your chance to change your image. Look what that creepy lad from last week did. He clearly did well playing the system, and now he's giving back. Time for a look in the mirror, my friend. Today's generation doesn't want to watch you spew hubris all over TV. They want to learn, interact, and have access to early stage deals. Yeah, Mitch, there is more to life than making money, you know. Like financial inclusion for the masses, luxury yachts, some new jays, and white sand beaches. You guys see this? A plane ticket to Mexico? I got two. Whoa, I gotta call my assistant. I think she stole one of my credit cards. I can't get my phone to unlock. It won't read my face. It's the wrinkles, Winston. Your face changes by the second. Did someone say white sand beaches? Ah! Damn, how does he do that? Hey, it's getting old already, guy. I bet you were one of those kids doing weak magic tricks and annoying your parents every evening. Everyone loves magic, Mitch. And Winston, relax. You look like you're about to have a heart attack. So good to see you all again. I trust the snacks backstage were to your liking. How'd you find that caviar? The North African beluga only mates once a year. Hold on, hold on. Just wait a minute. Did you send us these plane tickets? Of course I did. Now I have some great news for all of you. The reaction since launching Virtual VC has been amazing. Well, other than some critique around host selection. I don't know about this. I didn't sign up for travel. Please, please calm down. Wow. Talk about a lack of appreciation. No one forced you to be here. You're all here because you were paid to be here. And it sure seems like you all love that concept. Well, other than Mitch over there, but he doesn't seem to like anything these days other than meme coins. Look, you're here because people know you, they respect you, and you all have unique viewpoints on the world of investing. Just like in my career as a VC, I like to hire people who see things differently than me, and plus, getting to boss around five celebrities like you just feels so damn satisfying. Great, so this is all just some ego play for you. You feel that you really have a slightly bigger- Whoa, Susie. <laughs> I think what she's saying is, we like what you're trying to do, but we don't need this gig. And bro- 
Who are you? How hard is it to tell us your name? Okay, I don't have time for this. You all signed contracts before you left last time. Read the small print. Or don't. Either way, it's my idea. Once you accepted that money, it meant you all work for me now. And it's going to put a big dent in your bank account if you breach that contract. It, to be fair, we didn't really accept your money. You wired it to us, so it just kind of appeared. That's called a power move. <laughs> okay, back to what I was saying. We've received so much interest since going live that we already have our first contest booked. So pack your bags, because we're doing the event live from a private island near Cozumel, Mexico. I'll meet you there. Your four-star hotel is already arranged. What? Four stars? They don't go that low, do they? I'm kidding. It's a luxury hotel next to a private island. It's so nice, they don't even give it stars. I've been working on my beach body since COVID started. Haven't been to a beach in over a year. And can you imagine all the lovely senoritas down in Mexico? I may not even need to use the old bubble app. Just my salsa moves. Hey, Winston, calm down. And please, I don't want to visualize your beach body. And no salsa. I had to pick you up off the floor last time in Rio. Remember that? You look tan, Mitch. Have you been to the beach? Yeah, I might have had a little sunshine recently. They were giving out vaccines in the Caribbean. Ripped down on the PJ. Stayed for a few weeks. Got both doses. I mean, I texted you, Winston, to come with me. You and Bill were playing Scrabble or something you said, and you couldn't make it. Bridge, Mitch. It's called Bridge. You wouldn't know anything about that. Winston, honey, don't listen to Cubers. He's still sour about the crypto sell-off last week. I'm with you. I can't wait for some fun in the sun. Yo, creepy guy in the back. I'm not going anywhere until you tell us your name. Also, I got important things to do. I can't just be hopping on a plane because you say so. Man! This is like herding cats. Drew, I told you last week. I am the founder of the massively successful VC firm Tunnel Creek Capital. Get that through your head. If you don't know who I am, then you must live under a rock. Now, my assistant has already emailed your tickets, and as I said, you signed a contract. Okay, guys, you depart in the morning. See you at the beach, and don't forget your swimsuits. Wheels up at 10 a.m. Oh, man, I never get tired of saying that. Wheels up, just like Maverick and Top Gun. I'm going to call you Goose, Mitch. And you, Winston, Iceman.